this is well don't rely on that because it's broken so they put that rock wall there so you don't fall off the cliff and die it's hard to show that drop we are on top of a mountain here looking for an old uh, German military fort called uh, Varnes Fast. I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's remnants all over the place. So whatever this stuff was. Now what's actually up here is a cave, possibly an, uh, an original cannon, a gun, still here. But we're trying to be quick to beat the sunset, which is inevitably happening here. Slowly but surely. Wow, if nothing else, this is an amazing view. All right, here it is, or at least one of them. You would never know that this is here. That tree has grown right in the middle of the entrance here. Wow. A secret Nazi bunker. It is muddy. I don't know anything about this. Is that all this is? Yeah, yeah, this is all this is. I feel like Geraldo when he uh, opened up that vault. <laughs> but fret not, I'm still looking for the uh, gun. I think there's a big gun emplacement here, or gun still here. I don't know why they dug this. Could have been for ammunition, could have been for food storage. I mean, that's quite a bit of work. Drill this out, man. Okay. All right. After hiking around this mountain, we finally found it. One of the secret bunkers or secret pillboxes, whatever you want to call it, right there on the side of this mountain built into the rock. I'm gonna get down and show you. That is awesome. Look at that. Talk about history. Jeez. And just in time for the sunset too. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's more stuff down there. More sheep too. Oh yeah, it goes all the way down. Now I want to clarify, by secret I mean obviously people know about it and it's a thing that you can come and see this. But it was very secret during the war for sure. Um, and possibly for years after. Look at this, it goes right into the rock. So I don't even know how deep this goes. All right, so this is the upper part. I can't get up inside this, so this is, I'm just holding it with my gimbal. The door is cemented shut, so you can't get into the, into the cave part. All right, so this is the upper part. I'm gonna see if I can get down into the lower part now. <sighs> that will maybe be less death-defying as I just have to 
slide my way in and get completely disgustingly filthy. But it's all in the name of history. Maybe I don't have to get this wet. Hold on. This is tight. God, this would be a hell of a time for this thing to fail. <coughs> Okay, so this, this is uh, wide open, this door. And uh, we're about to go into this and see what is down in this Nazi bunker? It's certainly not on any tour. Oh man, is that it? <laughs> There's nothing really down here. Sorry, people. Again, I feel like uh, Geraldo and the uh, Volt unveiling. Not even any paraphernalia. Look at this door, though. Jeez. something down underneath all this stuff, but I'm not going to go digging around in there. Okay, I will admit that the tunnel was a bust, and even the fort, the battery with the, uh, Staircase, everything where I crawled in, that was a total bust. But I promise you, you will love this. This I am delivering. Check that out. Still in its place here. I've seen them before where they've been restored and put into place. But I've never seen them where they haven't moved. And they've just been here. I don't know if there's anything in here. We'll see. This is just a, uh... yeah, I don't know how far these go. My guess is just they're just little rooms. Yeah. I don't know what this would have been for. I'll show you more of the gun in a second. This battery was subordinated to the artillery group Vance. The battery had four 10.5 centimeter guns with a shooting range of 16,000 meters and a firing capacity of five rounds per minute. Two of the guns were placed in casemates and near the battery, there was a great tunnel construction connected also with the command tower above this gun. The battery was a tiny part of the enormous Atlantic Wall, which the Germans started to build in 1940. It covered the whole coast of the Atlantic from the Arctic Ocean to the Pyrenees, and it was all kept manned in order to avoid an Allied invasion. In fact, along the Norway coast alone were 300 batteries. The construction work was often done by prisoners of war, and here at Varnes, or Varnes, 150 Russian prisoners were put to work together with prisoners from Holland. The activity went ongoing until the war was ended in 1945. So this is the massive tunnel system that the Nazis built.
Wow. Now, I don't know how far this goes, but we're going to find out. Wow. That dead ends, I think. Does this dead end? Let me see. It doesn't dead end. So this went to, there's another uh, battery, and this went to there. And now it's totally bricked up. Somebody, wow, some cold air coming out of there. I can't see what's in there, though. I'd love to, but I can't. So that means you can't. This is unbelievable. They were hard at work. I mean, it was really the prisoners of war that were doing that, Russian prisoners. The sheep come in here too. <laughs> Why would a sheep come in here? Okay, so this obviously went somewhere and was bricked up. And, oh, the mud is slick. This was bricked at some point, probably by the government, the Norwegian government, because they don't want people going in those, uh, those bunkers. And then there's actually a light at the end of the tunnel here. I can't believe this. Uh, you know what? That one that was up top that was filled in may have gone down. I'm sure they all connected. I, from what I read, I think they said that this was used to supply all the bunkers. So to give you an idea, this is probably 12 feet high and maybe 18 feet wide. So it's quite a sizable tunnel here. More mud. So when I had read that there was a tunnel system, I thought it was just that tunnel that I found up on top of the mountain. And it was only, I was, we were looking for a way out. And then we came across this tunnel. I mean, who knows what else is up here? I mean, they were, they were up in these mountains all along this coast for five years, building all this stuff, all this infrastructure, making tunnels and forts and batteries. And it's unbelievable what they did. You can actually hear, you can hear the sheep. There's some sheep that have the bells on them. They're right there. <laughs> he just heard me. Let's see if they let us get close to them here. They do not like humans. All right, I'm getting out of here. We got to hike back to the car. Amazing place. Thanks for watching.